All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly sort your new OnlyFans subs into buyers, non-buyers, and whales. Whales meaning big spenders. Now, I do this by using a script, and what the script does is that as soon as a new subscriber appears, they instantly sent this automated welcome message that will say the following. Hi babe, glad you found my page, let's make a deal. Give a like to the pictures in my feed and I'll send you a free video. Let me know when you're done. Now, the likes add to the social proof as well, but it's more so about leading them into an upsell. So they do this task, then you send them the reward. The reward is, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Hope you like it. Here's the short 15 second trailer. So you attach the four, uh, short 15 second trailer. That's just an example, 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds if you want. But it has to be that, it has to be a trailer. No nudity or just be the model in lingerie doing suggestive poses or whatever, being sexy. And the point is, is that it's a tease because then after a little back and forth, you're gonna try and upsell that full video. And then this will tell you if they're willing to purchase PBVs, if they're gonna complain about pricing, if they purchase it, no worries, and you can charge more pricing. This script does that right out of the gate and there's no fucking around. And then you know whether to spend time on the subs or whether to put them in what I call a dud list and then you just ignore them. All right, so I hope you like it. Here's the trailer, they're gonna froth. And then you say, thanks babe, glad you like it. Where you're from? I'm from blah, blah, oh, how cool. I'm from whatever, I'm from Melbourne. Would you like to see more of that video? Now, this is the big question that will filter the subs into those different categories that I mentioned, all right? They'll either say yes in different ways. I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't want the YouTube channel taking down. Or they'll some say no and give excuses. Yeah, but I don't get paid. You look pretty, but I know it's gonna cost, blah, blah, blah. I know what that means. Whatever the reason, then you'll just quickly say, find them, Mr. Boring. Way to ruin the mood. Then you say, no, no, I think you're really pretty, but I didn't get paid till Friday. I was sick on the weekend. I've had COVID. I spent all my money. My car broke down. Whatever. Cool. You just ignore them. Add user to dud list. Now, doing this, they could actually end up purchasing because what you'll notice is that as soon as you stop talking to a sub after they don't purchase the PPV, seven out of 10 subs will end up purchasing that PPV because then they quickly learn that if they purchase your content, they can keep talking to you. And so what you'll notice is that some subs will actually purchase the content after you ignore them. So if they purchase the content, remove them from the dud list, and then you'll proceed as though they said yes, and then you'll continue the script this way. This is why I designed these dialogue tree scripts here. So based on whatever they say, you can just follow that script super easy, give it to your chatters, super easy to follow. So then they will say yes, if they say yes, You'll say this, I'm not gonna say this on YouTube. As I said, don't want it to be taken down. The point is they said yes. And then you send a sexy caption along with the full video. This will be the full video. Make sure you show nudity in it. Make sure you show whatever the sub wants to see. And then the sweet spot I found is $35 for the price. I'm gonna go into it because I wanna keep this video fairly short, but I found $35 to be the sweet spot. Now you're gonna pull me up and you're gonna say, yeah, but Bjorn, you said in some videos to charge a minimum of 60 for videos, a minimum for this for pictures. And then in other videos you've said charge a minimum for 35 for videos, minimum this, whatever. But a few people pull me up on that in the Discord. And that is because as you will see, where, where, where? As you will see on different programs or different software like Super Creator or Inflow, they track buyers' spending habits. And so the reason I vary in the prices that I give in these videos is because there is no set price. I'm just trying to make the point. And the point is to charge a lot more than what you're probably charging. So that is the point I'm trying to make. I, there are no specific prices because when you use software like Inflow, it will keep track of sub spending habits and then you'll charge them accordingly. It will give you averages of the prices they've paid, the, the amount they've spent in total and suggest a price that you can charge. Now you will use these prices more often than not, but you kick this off by slinging this new subscriber script, upselling this full video for $35 and then that will tell you all you need to know. If they give some pushback, then you can just classify them as a buyer cool and then you can slowly work your way up to charging $50 for a video minimum $20 for a photo and then if they have no problem buying that then you can work your way up charge $70 for a video 
minimum $40 for a picture. See what I do? But if they give pushback, then you know to stop there. So if they give pushback on $35, well, you'll still push it to 50 for videos from then on. Custom requests are a whole different story, but you'll push it up to 50. And then software like Inflow and Super Creator will eventually give prices that you can use. They'll suggest prices you can use after they've purchased a few times. But if they just push back entirely on the $35 price, then you know you're not going to get anywhere with them and you can't charge anymore. But if they still purchase it, but like, oh, that's all I can afford for the week, then you won't charge a minimum of $50 for a video like I mentioned. And that's what I mean by how they vary because if they're giving pushback and they're saying that was my whole budget for the week or whatever, you don't want to increase that price. You want to push it a little bit, charge an extra $10 on your next PPV and then if they purchase that, you can know you can work your way up. But if you believe them and they really are like flat broke after they spent 35 bucks, then you will leave the pricing there. Now, luckily there's software like Super Creator Inflow that keeps track of this. But another way I do it is by categorizing the subs using lists into duds, buyers, and whales. Now duds are, as I said, if they just don't spend then you know to ignore them. You can show the mass low ticket PBVs, but that's a whole nother video. But then you can save your time for subs that actually purchase. Now, buyers are just that. They're just normal buyers. You know to use the recommended prices that are suggested in these CRMs. But if they are just not complaining at all and they're just buying whatever, then you'll add them to a list called whale. And then you know to like really up the prices. Now, there are caps as it says here. There are, this, uh, this is super creative, but it give, there are pricing caps as you'll notice, but the pricing caps actually vary based on account age. But if you wanna charge more for a piece of content than is allowed by this cap, then what you'll do is you actually get the sub to tip more or tip twice, three times, however much it takes. For example, if a subscriber, or usually a whale, wants a custom piece of content, then I recommend charging minimum 300 bucks and you do this by charging them via tipping. You tell them to tip you $300 via multiple tips and then you'll send them the video. If you ever see any videos I make or anywhere else about charging more than what is said here for a piece of content, that is how it's done. It's done by getting the sub to tip multiple times. So anyway, that's it. I hope it was concise. I hope that wasn't too confusing, but as I say, there are no set prices that you can charge for different subs. They all differ and you can keep track of them by sorting them into groups and using things like Inflow or Super Creator. If you're very new and you only got one model or you're just managing it yourself, I recommend using Super Creator, but if you're managing more than one model and you're in business and you want to plan on growing and scaling, then Inflow is definitely for you. And if you want this script here, you can find it in my Discord or on my forum. And as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.